Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. I'm back. My hair's a fucking mess. I just woke up. Today is my day off. It's a chill day, so I'm like, you know what? Let's vlog for the baddies, my besties, which is you guys. Um, if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. What's up? I'm Eric. This is House of Eric. And basically, I am a licensed cosmetologist with a passion for all things beauty. And yeah, if you like beauty, if you like real life blogs, I do a beauty upload once a week and I do a personal life blog. I take you guys with me once a week and I show you guys a little bit about my life. So welcome, like if you wanna keep it 100. Like if you like beauty, all things beauty products, beauty professional, I've been doing it for a long time. Uh, subscribe if you wanna join the familia. I would love to have you guys here. And yeah, so today what we're going to be doing is I am about to go fix a couple foils in my mom's hair from her uh, hairdresser. It came out a little wonky, so I'll just show you guys a little briefly what I do. Um, excuse the apartment, she's a mess, but after that I'm going to get glam and do a full fucking glam face today. Um, and I'll show you guys, it won't be a tutorial, but I'll show you guys the process. And then I'm gonna take you guys to my bar, mm-hmm, because I have a work meeting with some new recipes and we get to try all of the cocktails. So your girl might get a little tipsy, but I'll show you guys and take you guys with me throughout my Sunday and let's see what shenanigans we get into today. I'm super excited. I will be back, you guys, and we will get this day rolling. All right, guys, I just locked up my apartment. The convenience of being able to do my mom's hair today is she stayed the night with my little brother and me and my little brother live in the same complex. So it's just gonna be a little walk. I got my my Cosmoprof bag. If you're a hairstylist, you know what Cosmoprof is, but it's basically just a, um, it's a professional store where all of your hairstylists, if you have a hairstylist or your barber, that's where we get all of our professional products. Um, so yeah, we don't do Sally's, we don't do none of that. Well, I don't, but if your hairstylist says maybe you should switch hairstylists because those aren't professional products. Um, they are professional, but they're for the consumer, as in you guys, not for a person with a cosmetology license. I mean, why would you, but look at it like this. Why would you go to a hairstylist if they're using products from Sally's when that's something that you could completely buy yourself? You could purchase it yourself. It's not exclusive to your hairstylist. So it's like, what's the point? You could just do it by yourself. When you go to a professional hairstylist or professional barber, they should be using professional products because it's something that's customizable that you wouldn't be able to create on your own. Make sense? Good. All right, so my mom hates filming. She will not be on camera, so let's see. Watch, you guys are gonna get her reaction right now. I bet she's gonna say, don't put me on camera, are you filming? Ring, ring, bitches. Good morning. What are you guys doing? Dishes. Washing dishes. Look, Mom, you're on camera. <laughs> what are you doing today, Mom? I'm just kidding. You're not on camera. It's facing me. Okay, so I'm here, guys. I'm going to fix my mom's hair. Tyler, you want to say hi? Say hi. Hi. He said hi. All right, guys, I will we'll show you guys the rest. Bye. Okay guys, so I'm just mixing this real quick. So um, I'm using Wella. This is Blondor. It's a good, it's a good lightener. I haven't used it since I used to work at the salon in Phoenix Main Attraction. Um, high Main Attraction. But I'm just gonna eyeball this because I'm just fixing like two or three foils. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. That should be enough. A little of this goes a long way because bleach swells. And then I'm gonna be using 20 volume. What time did you wake up, Tash? 
so much easier to film when you have the tripod. Mm -hmm. You don't have to stay quiet, you can talk. <laughs> We're not acting. This shit is real. We don't act. This shit is real. He's trying to be like very professional and hold it, which I think is super cute. But I'm telling him like, you can talk. Watching Roger Rabbit. Tell him what you're watching today. Watching Roger Rabbit. Um, definitely a big thing in animation because nothing had ever been done like this before. Wow. Tyler, can you see me? Tyler's obsessed with all movies, which is super cool because like, I don't know, I'm like studying film right now. Um, I'll tell you guys more about that later, but literally like on my homework, all I have to do is text him and he knows like most of the answers, which is awesome. But yeah, he has like thousands of movies. Okay, anyways, back to this. So, it's all done right here. I'm gonna fix the foils. Then I'm going to go home. Oh. Then I'm gonna go home, get ready, and then take you guys to the bar. You can just stop recording. Um, I have to be there at 2, so... 1.30? Yeah, let's do 1.30. Yeah. Alright, love you guys. Ow. Alright, guys. She's done and eric the motherfucking beauty guru eric the motherfucking makeup enthusiast eric the motherfucking licensed cosmetologist slash beauty expert he travels he sings he dances he does it all honey um no but on a on a serious note yeah i just got done um now i'm going back to my apartment which is literally like a minute away and i'm gonna get glam there's nothing more than I love than getting glam, especially you guys. I'm literally, there's no stopping for me. Like, there's no on and off switch for me because the dreams that I have are so big. And if you think about it, all the people who make millions of dollars, do you think that they took breaks? Do you think that when they were tired, they stopped? No, that's not how you become where you want to be. If you're trying to do big things, make big things popping and little things stopping like me, there's no fucking rest breaks. There's no days off. I work seven days a week and I don't even want to call it work because YouTubing, makeup, hair, beauty, uh, my school that I'm in, my jobs, I pretty much love everything that I do. But my passion is obviously hair and makeup and content filming. You know, I used to do photography. I don't think I've told you guys that. So, yeah, so it's like, when you're doing what you love, it's not working, period. Um, but yeah, I'm back in my apartment, so let me take a shower, get cute, fix his motherfucking hair, fix his face, and I will see you guys right now. Okay, wait, real quick, I had to add this. I think it's so fucking cute. Like, my family, I don't know where I got it from. Like, my personality, my outgoingness, my loudness, my... You know, my confidence, and I wasn't always confident, so don't think that. And I'll get into that story next time. And there's a difference between cockiness and confidence. And I'm confident because I know who the fuck I am, I know what I want, and I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. Period. And if you got a problem, come up to me. That's how I handle it. Done. But back to the story, I, I don't get it because everyone else Maybe like down the road, they'll get more comfortable and they'll, they'll be on camera. But everyone else in my family is the complete opposite of me. I'm the loud one. I'm the annoying one. I'm the one who always wants to do shit. I'm the one who loves to just be out there and be myself. And like they say it this way, there's only two people, two types of people in the world. If you can guess who I'm quoting, then I love you. The ones that entertain in the ones that observe who is that let me know anyways back to my point it's like the once i hit record like when i'm not by my when i'm not by myself it's like <laughs> not almost like not acting for them 
but they stay completely quiet. And I'm like, you guys, like, talk. Like, just be normal. Like, just talk. Like, this is a life vlog. It's not like a tutorial. It's not like, um, it's not like a review. It's not like where, you know, I'm putting my FAQs and facts and knowledge on products. Like, just be normal, guys. And they're like, oh, okay, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you guys just, who wants to watch people who are acting? Like, if you wanted to watch that, go to a fucking movie. Because this shit is as real as it gets. You know what I mean? Anyways, I think it's funny. But I think the more I film around them and when I get my professional camera in, I think they'll ease into it. But, yeah, my little brother is, like, stoked. My little brother, he he's cool. He, uh, You guys saw earlier he showed you what he was watching. He's, like, he's kind of into it. But um, it's funny. I don't know. You get it, right? Do you get it? Do you not get it? I don't know. I'm going to jump in the shower because, once again, my armpits don't stink, but I feel like I stink. But I do shower every day. Or maybe I don't. I guess you'll never know. Hola. Okay, so, for, if you guys have watched my last vlog, you know that I'm eating healthy. But, on Sundays, it is my motherfucking cheat day. And that is exactly what your girl is about to do. So, I'm at rallies because, I don't know if you guys know what rallies is, but they have rallies and then I believe it's checkers, but this is literally the best thing since sliced bread. It is their funnel cake fries. Dude, like if you want like a fucking contour that cuts, like a fucking, a face that gives, a taste that serves, you need that motherfucking contour. I mean, you mean, <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. You need the fucking Final King fries. They are so good. Okay, you guys, I just got done with my work meeting. I tried to film inside, but it was like a lot of business stuff, like confidential stuff, and I couldn't, but I apologize. And then I went makeup shopping, duh. So I heard some really good things about Wet n Wild. Their new stuff, of course, I've tried Wet n Wild. If you haven't, what are you fucking living in like, where are you living if you haven't heard of Wet n Wild? If you're, if you haven't heard of Wet n Wild, then you're not fucking, you're not on Earth, that's for sure. And you definitely hate makeup, that's for damn sure. But it's an affordable fucking beauty brand that fucking gives, like gives, gives. So I will do an unboxing, well not an unboxing, but an unbagging as soon as I get home. I'm about to go home. So I'll get into some comfy clothes. We'll talk about the products. And then next week I will do a wear test on them. You guys can still hear me. I'm still alive. And you better fucking like this video. Hello. Hola. Como esta? Me llamo Eric. Este es el casa de Eric. Y mucho gusto. Or no. Y mucho bienvenido. Y bienvenidos. Mucho gusto conocerte. Por favor, hit that subscribe button. Por favor, dame una thumbs up. Y por favor... Besame. Mwah. No, I don't know. Um, hey guys, I'm back. It's my day off. This is Eric's Life Vlog. And hold on. A bitch needs some coffee. Speaking of rainbow. Uh, happy Pride Month. I'm a couple days late, but happy Pride Month. I'm 100% homosexual and I fucking love myself. And if you're gay or in the LGBTQIA community, which is me, Familia, my family, all you guys are my motherfucking family, but I, I rep. I rep for the gays, and I'm a confident ass bitch, and as you should be too, love yourself, no matter what you look like, no matter what your gender, your fucking race, whatever you want to be, be it. You know what I mean? Just be yourself. I mean, minus like the whole criminal part and the whole like all that bad stuff, don't be that. But be your motherfucking self and be your best self. Um, Look at my rainbow colored cup. To all my gays, I fucking love you. Triple G's, my gays, my guys, my girls. Eric loves you. And that's all you need to know. You know what I mean? So come out when you're ready if you're not out of the closet. Just don't slide into my fucking DMs if you're not out. Because I'm not... Ain't nobody got time for that. You don't want to keep this a fucking secret. And I ain't trying to keep no fucking secrets. Honey, I'm too old for that shit. Anyways, back to the point. You guys, oh, I'm so happy. Today was a really good day. I hope you guys had a good day as well. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just in my best life right now. And 
I, I feel it. I feel it here in my heart. I feel it in my soul. I feel it in my mind and my mental health. And I'm just fucking living and giving and growing and loving and all of the above. And I'm so happy that I could share this with you guys. I fucking love all you guys. Honestly, I really do. The fact that you guys even take the time to watch my crazy ass, like, love you. Um, what was I going to talk about? So I had a, a day today. So there was a bunch of shit done. But you guys already know, this is a beauty channel. And I love beauty. And even though this is my life vlog, I kept it real all motherfucking day like I always do. Unless I'm period. But you know a bitch had to spend some money. Because what's good if I don't keep up with the latest and greatest and let you guys know what the fuck is the tea? So we did a Walgreens haul. Well, I did a Walgreens haul. But technically we did because you was me and I is you. And I fucking love you guys. So... I wanted to do a little bit of Wet n Wild. If you guys don't know what it is, bye, bye, exit. See that X? Click out. Exit. Wet and, no, don't do that. Lost my tune of thought. Oh, yeah, Wet n Wild. <laughs> ADHD. Um, wet n Wild, you guys. Honestly, I am still in shock with how much, especially, I mean, the, the country these days. First of all, gas. Not even about that though, but how much beauty products are? I literally bought like five or six drugstore products and it was like almost $100, but no problem. That's what I'm here for. You gotta, as a one, as a wise millionaire once said, in order to make money, you gotta fucking spend money. And that's the whole goal of this beauty channel. One, to Im influence in a positive, awesome way and to really show you guys, like, what I'm about, who I am. Like, this is not acting. You can ask any of my close friends. Like, this is me, period. Um, but let's talk about beauty. So, here I got a Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus. I haven't used this in a minute. It's the Translucent Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder. And I haven't used this in a minute, but I remember this being really good. And I just ran out of my setting powder literally today. Um, so I'm stoked to retry it, try it with you guys. If you've tried it, let me know. Comment down below. Um, I also spent the whole day without wearing deodorant because I forgot that I ran out last night before my bar shift and all the stores in my area closed really early. Um, but this is my favorite beauty uh, product for deodorant. Yes, deodorant is a hygienic, aka beauty product, man. So don't be scared. It's okay. This is a new one. It says new and it's 72 hours advanced moisturization. Cause your girl likes to like, oh, <clears throat> your girl likes to smell good. Like who doesn't? Thank God, honestly, I'm not a stinky person, Bible. Like I'm really not. Um, but if you don't, if I don't put deodorant on, I just feel like, ugh. Um, don't get me wrong. I do like, I will like eventually stink, but like I can go almost two days without wearing deodorant and you won't smell shit. Um, Anyways, so we did that. We did the deodorant. I'll keep you guys updated on all this stuff. And then we'll do a video probably next week. Because I have a beauty video planned for tomorrow. But it's not going to be involved with any of these products. Um, and then I saw this on TikTok. And honestly, I'm doing this for my natural viewers. Because I know not everybody likes a full glam like me. And I heard really good things about this. And I'm so excited. This is the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. It's basically a lightweight perfecter. It delivers hydrating benefits in a little bowl, you can e either shear it out, which I'm going to do for my natural video coming soon. Um, or it can get up to a medium, flawless, softly luminous complexion. It has hyaluronic acid, which we love. We love to stay hyaluronically acidized. Just kidding. Not a word. We love to stay moisturized because that's what hyaluronic acid does. It reproduces the natural lipids within our skin, which create moisture. Um... And it has squalene. I love squalene, another uh, moisturizing derivative. And what else does it have? That's basically it. Okay, but no, I am excited to try that. And oh my God, I know I'm late in the game. Let me know if you've tried this, but I'm so excited because I couldn't find this anywhere in my small town in Arizona. This is the Elf Power Grip Primer. Ooh, I can't wait to try this. I'm like all about that sticky shit. Like, yes, cake it, cake it. I want it fucking caked. I want to glam like all day, every day. Like. Honestly, if makeup, if makeup, no, that's a lie. I can't say, well, maybe I would. If makeup didn't feel like really heavy by the end of the day, I'd probably sleep in it. Um, 
No, I wouldn't. It's gross. What am I talking about? Shut the fuck up, Eric. Like, seriously. No, I wouldn't do that. But do you get that? Like, it's my obsession. It, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Um, give an example of my obsession with makeup, if that makes sense. Hold on. I just literally poured coffee all over my chest. Anyways, okay. Also, I wanted to try this because I've never tried this. Is the... Writing is hard to read because it's through like a transparent and it's a white powder, but it's just a simple, uh, translucent, bare focus, clarifying, finishing powder. This is also by Wet n Wild. So this is maybe, I would probably use this with that tinted hydrator because I really don't want a heavy, loose setting powder. I'm sure you guys already know, but loose powders tend to be a lot more heavy, excuse me, than, um, than a natural pressed powder. So it all depends on what you're going for, but I'm probably going to definitely uh, hit this up with the tinted hydrator. Um, and then I also saw this. So my vibe for this summer and the vibe kind of going on everywhere, TikTok, YouTube, is glass skin. Like, and I kind of have it going on right now, just a little, you know. Um, but this is the Wet n Wild Glass Correct Primer. So this is basically a yellow corrector, which is going to kind of neutralize any, um, any kind of dullness. It's not going to necessarily, necessarily cancel out colors such as red or blue. But what it's going to do is it's going to brighten your skin because it has vitamin C. Ooh, I just dropped it. And with a yellow base, it normally does something like a little bit brightening. So I'm really excited to try that with the tinted hydrator. Just, we'll do a, nat here's what we'll do. We'll do a natural, um, someone's calling me. Hold on, I have to end it. We will do a natural dewy summer look every day for all my natural girls out there because I love you babies. I love you just as much as I love my full clam queens. Full clam queens. Full glam queens. And I love my naturals. Um, so yeah, we'll do that together. I also saw what else. Ooh, I haven't tried this in a minute. I just bought, this was an impulse buy. Like honestly, I kind of remember what this does, but I really remember this being very smooth. Especially this lighter shade underneath the eye. This is in the shade Dolce de Leche. Um, which means... In Spanish, Dolce de Leche. I think it means plastic surgery on the face. Dolce de... Yeah, that's what it means. No. But um, I remember being very smoothing this powder. And I remember this contour being not too warm, not too cool. But almost perfect enough to where it can serve as a bronzer slash almost contour if you get my drift. Do you get it? Okay. But yeah, I, I will test this out as well. We're gonna have a wet and wild motherfucking day. Um. La okay, next we'll do skincare. This I've used before when I was a beauty consultant at Walgreens. This is before I worked at Morphe as a beauty artist. But I don't remember, but I do know that this works really good to remove makeup. Maybe I'll do a YouTube short. Yeah, I'll do a YouTube short removing my makeup with this. Um, this is the African Black Soap with Shea Butter by Shea Moisture. It's the brand. It's a blemish-prone face and body bar. So, he uses it all over the face, all over. If you have any body acne, whatever you'd like, this should be your girl. But, like I said, I'll do a YouTube short to show you how it removes the makeup. But, I can't give you a full review on skincare until I've tested it for, like, at least a month. Then, I can legitimately tell you whether it's good or not. So, anytime you see some YouTuber, some TikToker telling you, first try, oh, this is so amazing, it does this, it does that. Like, bitch, no, it doesn't. First of all, real skincare is clinically tested, especially by dermatologists, and it has to be done with over a certain amount of time frame. Makeup can give you instant results, so I get the whole first impression thing. But skincare, no, 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 you can't bullshit a bullshitter, honey. First of all, skincare, it has to be worn over a specific amount of time for you to even... If you're being real, like this bitch, you have to be able to prove it yourself that the skincare did X, Y, Z, and that's how you relate it to other people. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not on that fake shit, okay? So if it works, I'll tell you. If it doesn't, I'll fucking tell you. But I have heard good things about it, and I know it's a great brand. Last but not least, this was so cute. This is from e.l.f. Duh. This is their new line. It's the Super Skincare Mini Trio. So it comes with... Isn't that such cute packaging? I love the color combination. Like, the color story. It's so cute. The purple, the yellow, the orange. Very summery. Very, like... Very, like, this blush moment. Very like that. So it's basically a mini skincare... Uh... Pack it with superpowers. This contains many sized products from our powerful ingredient packed supers collection. Complete with the cleanser, must. Toner, haven't been using, but I'm about to implement. 
and a recharge for your refresh skincare routine. So it basically comes with a mini pill with glycolic acid. I'm very excited to try this. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated on this. I'll probably do a little demo, but I'm not going to be able to tell you what it does until like after a month. So I will put this in my notes and I will address it probably within a month or so to let you know the TDC if it works. Um, all this stuff was... You guys, drugstore price makeup is going up. I'm like, I don't know how the fuck I'm going to buy, like, two foundations at Sephora. And I bought all of that. Like, oh, hell no. I'm sticking to drugstore for a minute, honey. And, like, everything I'm wearing on my face right now, drugstore, hello. Like, come on. Uh, minus that, I, I get teary-eyed. And it's Arizona. And it's, like, 100 degrees. Do I have to explain more? But, yeah, you guys, that was my day. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys like my life vlogs. Oh, um, if you do, please like this video. It does help my YouTube channel and it, it lets us help other people in the beauty community like come together and all talk and comment, subscribe. What do you guys want to see? I always respond to my subscribers. Like I keep it real. Um, I really, really do appreciate you guys. And I'm honestly like we're building this awesome family and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Honestly, like no bullshit. I know I'm a sarcastic bitch, but this is me being serious right now. I do love you guys. Um, and yeah, thanks for supporting me and letting me do what I fucking love. Because if you can't tell, I love doing this shit. Um, yeah, happy Sunday. Today's June 5th. You'll probably be seeing this on June 6th. Um, I have a busy week coming up. But tomorrow I'm filming my weekly beauty video. Stay tuned because it's gonna be fucking good. And that'll be posted probably Saturday. Um, I have to send it to my editor and all that, but... Shout out to my editor. He's fucking amazing. I love you, Ninja. He kicks ass. Um, he's in a totally different state than me, but he's fucking awesome. And yeah, I think that's it, guys. So if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know anything about me, comment. I sub or I subscribe. I reply. I I'm a hundred percent real. Like ask me anything. I don't get offended. Um, let's try to keep it beauty related. But if you want to know anything about my personal life, I'll either answer it or I won't. Um, but other than that, I'm a pretty open book. And once again, this video is getting very long. So I'm going to fucking shut the fuck up. But I'll see you guys in my next Eric's Life weekly vlog. Thanks so much for even watching. Um, have a great night. Remember, stay bad and be authentically you.